pad. It's Maximus here, this time with a review of the DeWalt, quote-unquote, heavy-duty swivel-head riveter. This isn't really different than any other swivel-head riveter. Maybe it's a little bit uh, higher quality, maybe one that you get from Harbor Freight. Cast aluminum body, comes with a wrench, over-molded handles. Does use E-clips to retain the pins so you can at least somewhat take it apart. And since these are relatively standardized, you can order pretty much anybody's uh, associated tips will work with this. The reason these riveters have these different size tips is that if you use a rivet and a tip that has way too much clearance and when it's pulling through, what can happen is it can mush some of the aluminum into the tip and the whole tool will get stuck on the rivet or just pull the aluminum through and it actually won't uh, secure whatever you're trying to secure. So you always want to use the tip that is as small as possible that will fit the rivet. And we'll see how this one works. This has mixed reviews and I can understand. I don't know who's making it, but uh, issues with these riveters is that the internal jaws sometimes either are not manufactured properly and don't grip the rivets properly or sometimes they break. And there's been quite a few uh, issues using genuine DeWalt rivets. This was an open box at my uh, local, uh, excuse me, uh, True Value, not Ace Hardware, True Value. And they had it marked way down to 12 bucks. So we'll see how this one works. And I'll show you a neat little trick too. These are indeed 10 millimeter. They're not fractional. And I kind of would have expected it to be fractional. Replacing the bits is as simple as unscrewing them. The bits are specialized. They have this little taper. And the reason that taper exists is that when the riveter opens all the way up, the jaws will hit the back of that taper and open up to release the rivet. That's why they have the special taper. A little bit funky because if you're torquing it, it tends to want to swivel the head. So you're going to hold it properly. Get a decent torque on there. Let's see how this rivets. The whole deal with the swivel head runs ones is so you can get in the tight spaces. Maybe you want it this way and it just has a plunger that works like that. You can also adjust the jaw tension by screwing this end cap in, in or out, and that can help resolve some issues. Anyway, so you can get the tight spaces. Maybe you want to uh, flip it around this way, that way you can go straight in. Maybe you know the normal way when you need to, when you can get flush, or maybe sideways even. Although they're kind of funky, I've never been a huge fan of those. Put in the rivet, put a little bit of tension. Also, when they talk about rivets, such as these all being eighth inch, that means that you want to have an eighth inch hole because the same deal with these nipples, the rivets don't have much expansion. So you really need to have a hole that's just the right size. Put it in there, give it a squeeze, press it back onto the rivet, give it another squeeze, until it pops. And that's actually it breaking the stem. And there you go, you have your rivet and it's mushed it out. Now you can put a washer on the backside if you have access and it can help make the rivet more secure. There's also a neat little trick for visual appearance is these little collars, they're just held onto the nail by just a little pinch on the nail. So you can actually take the collar and what a, no you know, a normal rivet, come on package, a normal rivet will look like this. So you can actually take the collar and put it on backwards like that. So now what you have is something that looks like this. And the whole reason you might do that is it's not convenient because you need uh, basically access to both sides. That did release that stem because you have to be able to put the rivet through the object and then be able to grab onto its riveter. And when you're doing this, then it's really important that you have just the right size nipple on there. Otherwise, it will badly jam. But the whole advantage to doing it this way, get a grip because I'm trying to hold all this. And see how that, oh, that didn't work out perfectly for me. Well, it actually pulled it through. Anyway, as far as a basic swivel head riveter, as far as this particular unit, 
it seems to work okay. And actually, I'm more disappointed with DeWalt's rivets than I am with their rivet gun, to tell you the truth. These are pretty low quality. I definitely find some better quality rivets to use. Anyway, sorry for the long video. I was trying to demonstrate something neat and uh, DeWalt's crappy rivets. Or at least they're steel ones. And I suppose they are stronger. Didn't quite want to quite cooperate. What I'll do is I'll try it again with one of the aluminum ones. No, I was having the same luck with their aluminum, so it doesn't matter. I don't like the Waltz rivets, that's for sure. It was certainly easier with another brand that I was using. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.